I'm Isabel from the Cognito Forms team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up guest registration. This allows people outside your organization to add themselves to your guest list. And as with everything in Cognito Forms, our features are designed to be flexible, so you can create the kind of scenario that works for you. In this demo, I'm going to go over two different approaches. So after I describe the user experience, you can just skip ahead to the chapter that interests you. In the first scenario, your guest will go to the public link of your guest list form, fill it out, and then either become an active guest immediately or wait for a member of your organization to approve or deny their request. Whether a guest is approved or denied, you can set up automated emails notifying them of your decision. If approved, you can include your organization's link in the email, allowing them to log into their personal portal. You might want to use this scenario if you want to make it quick and easy for anyone to join your guest list. And you're okay with manually reviewing and approving guest requests. In the second scenario, instead of sending guests a public link to your guest list, you'll send them directly to your organization's link to register. In this case, they'll need to verify their identity before they can register. This approach ensures that each guest truly owns the email address they're providing. This scenario is especially useful if you want to reduce spam or prevent people from registering with invalid email addresses, and you need stronger assurance of identity before granting access. If you'd prefer to use this second approach, you can skip ahead to the chapter labeled Registration Using Organization Link. For now, let's take a look at how to set up scenario number one, Registration Using a Public Link. To begin, Navigate to the build page of your guest list, click on the workflow tab, then open the public links section. You'll want to turn on the toggle which allows public links, allow links always, and set require authentication to never. Now you could share the public link and anyone can fill it out and submit it. Since authentication isn't required, you could also embed the form on your website for easy access. However, before sharing your form, you should consider whether you want to allow everyone to become an active guest automatically, or you would prefer to set up an approval process for guest applicants. We've updated our pre-built person form templates to include action buttons that let you quickly approve or deny guest registration requests. These buttons also allow you to trigger automated email responses, so guests are immediately notified of the outcome of their request. If you built your own guest list or used our person form templates before we updated them, just make sure to include a yes-no calculation to control your guest status. If you use this calculation, your guest will be automatically set to active or inactive based on the status of your entry. Then you can add approve or deny action buttons that update the status from pending to either active or inactive. For the approve action, you should also include an email notification which provides the link to your portal's login page. The link is just www.cognitoforms.com slash your organization's name. Now let's look at the second scenario, registration using an organization link. To allow guests to register themselves, all you need to do is go to your settings, click on the Guest Access tab, and then find the guest list you want your guests to be able to register for. At the far right of your form name, click the ellipses, then select Allow Guests to Register. Now when someone goes to your organization's link, they'll first verify their identity using a code sent to their email. After confirming their email address, they'll be prompted to add their details to your guest list. From here, you'll need to decide how you want to handle new registrations. You can either allow guests to become active immediately or require an approval step where someone on your team reviews the request before granting access. To make sure you stay on top of your guest access requests, I recommend setting up a task view so you never miss one. If you decide to require approval, you can set up action buttons that let you quickly approve or deny guest requests. These actions can also trigger automated emails so guests are immediately notified of your decision. If approved, be sure to include your organization's portal link in the email so they can log in right away. 
That's all we're going to cover in this video, but you can find more information in our user guides, and you can always reach us directly by submitting a support request.